Right now, committing a crime against someone simply because of what gender they are is not considered a hate crime. But as 8 on Your Side's Capitol Bureau reporter Mike Vasilinda explains, that could change after lawmakers heard heartfelt testimony today from a grieving parent. 21-year-old Mara Binkley was shot to death at a Tallahassee yoga studio in November 2018. Her father, Jeff, has been searching for answers ever since. Then a 21-year-old senior. Jeff Binkley could barely speak to a legislative committee as it considered broadening hate crimes to include gender or gender identity. That, that, that if we're to better uh, curb the acts of hate groups, then it makes sense to know what crimes they have committed against who, where, right? Because I just hope Florida doesn't wait for another one against a woman or women, a group of women, against someone disabled, against someone or a group of people. God forbid, because of their gender identity, let's not wait for another horrible occurrence. When it comes to hate crimes, prosecutors first have to prove there was a crime, then prove the hate element as well. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Masalinda, eight on your side. Mora and six others were shot by a self described misogynist. A hate crime designation, by the way, elevates penalties by one step, meaning a misdemeanor would then become a felony.